Hello, all. This video is on subtotals. So, one of my subscribers had commented on to do subtotals, and along with that, I'm going to tell you how to do replace uh, not just a name but also a format. If you want to replace it with something else, how it can be done? So, first of all, if you want to make subtotals, select see the all the things are in ascending order. So you can see 22 is here and 22 is here. So it's not in ascending order. First try to create this in ascending or descending order. Go to data and you can see, I can continue see two here or you can do in the completing here. So now you can see it has been in ascending or descending order. Now I want to have a subtotal. I want to make a total for these 22. So around here I need a Insert a clue. So I think it is subtotal. So manually doing is going to be very tiresome. So let's see how can we do this. Just click on the data tab uh, in, the, in the cursor and go to data and you can see outline various groups and there is something called subtotals. So first the subtotals you can see it has each range to so each change in 22. You can have count. You can have average max in product. So you can do count also, but I'm going to do a sum. So each changes can give me a sum. So where you want to add the subtotal? So this is a big question here. You can add either here also in the middle, either or you can add in the end, so total amount. You can add anywhere. So whatever you select, it is going to give you number of additions, but better. So it's an easy, convenient way. So you're doing for the total amount. You can add for the amount or quantity also. So if you can just replace the current subtotals. So you can have a page break between groups. That doesn't, I'm not going to use it right now. So summary should be below the data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do okay. So you can see the subtotal. So you can see this is giving me this total area. And now one is grand total. So the problem is sometimes is when you see this, it is not bold. You want to make this into bold, you know, to do this control B. Uh, each and everything is going to be very tiresome. So what you can do is you can do, you can go to this and uh, select, select from here in the Select the data from here. Go to home and you can see control G. Go to special and here from here, you can see visible cells only. Only the visible cells, you can do control B. So, in visible cells are done, you can see the control B. So, this is the way. Uh, you can do this for control, then you can go and check by only three. So you can see now all the totals are done here. And in supporting the best thing is when you do the grand total, it will automatically not check the, it is going to give subtotal upon. So this is going to be grand total. So if I make this, this is multiplied by 100. So you can see, and if you want to see, I can use the same formula here. So see, it's not changing, it's only selecting the selected data. So this is a very useful tool. So I'm going to, you can see this, how to make a subtotal. Or if you want, you can remove also, how to remove is the same thing. You go to the data, uh, go to outline, you have to subtotal. You have to select it first. Control A. Control Shift. Control Shift. To the top. Form. Without plan subtotals. And you can remove all. If you remove all, all the subtotals will be gone. So you can do is remove all. 
So this is the easy way to do the subtotals. And uh, if you want to see that painting in full, if you want to highlight this, naturally, if you do control H, control H, or you can go from home, and here you can see three places. So if you, you can do control H, control H. So either you can, if you do easy, you can select this, for example, and I can paste it. So what do you want to replace with? Uh, you can do any value, P, uh, e, F. So what do you want to replace? What do you want to replace this? What do you want to replace? Uh, this is not what I want. But I, what I want to do is I want to change the color for this one. So whenever I see paint in full, I want the thing to be the same. If I do replace, it doesn't make sense. So I want to change the color for this. So I can do is I can go to format. I can choose from a cell or I can let's replace this. I want to format. And here I can fill this color. I can make bold or italic. And I can fill even if one I can fill the cell. And do okay. So you can see the preview is showing. So once I do this, I can select the area. I want to replace. So I want to replace. Painting in full. Nine replacements are done. So you can see all this has been changed. Now, if you want it in the same back, you can do is format, choose from the, you can choose format from the cell, or you can select any cell. You can see the preview has changed. Now again, replace. So select it. Replace all. So you can see it has come back. So this is the two things I want to show you next thing that how we can do replace and all and change the cell, uh, change the subtotals. So I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching this video. I will be seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.